Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. It's your boy GK back with another video. In today's video, I'll be teaching you lot how to do the simple split screen effect, which is an alternative to the advanced split screen effect, which is also aka Flea's split screen effect. Before we get into the video, please like, comment, and subscribe to the channel. Like so you guys are showing some support. Comment down below if by the end of the video if this was helpful and subscribe so you guys can get more chef factory tutorials like this out of me now let's get into the video first off you want to get two screenshots from replay mode within fortnite or any other game you're actually doing the split screen effect on i don't know but yeah you want to get your two screenshots and then you want to go to photos new project or for me this is just last project where you want to go to new project pick whatever theme and then get your screenshots which this has just been slow and gentle. but yeah you get your screenshots and then put them together all right once you two are here you want to hear you want to remove the border by going square and then border settings you should, you should just be like that in general when you just get there but you want to remove it so then it's just like this and then if you'd like to, you can add a filter which saturates and make it look a bit more better in general. And then after that, you just want to save it. It's simple. But now we're going to have to go to a video clip project. So I'll see you guys when I'm back. All right, guys, now that I'm in my timeline or project, you want to put it at the clip we'll see where you're doing your split screen effect on. So here I just have it having here, here but listen to the beat. I want it to be on beat with the kill. So I want the beat drop to be on beat with the kill. So then look. Obviously I'm not gonna keep this running for that long. So obviously I'm gonna split clip. So you press square, split clip. Exactly before the beat drop, I'm gonna delete this clip well that cut there we go now it's in beat but obviously you want to make this look a bit cool instead of just being plain dry like this so i'm gonna saturate it again actually no instead i'm gonna add vhs and add uh aspect 241 reduce the staticness because obviously it doesn't really look that good i'm gonna add shake which is in the overlay um, panel so to get there you wanna press x at overlay so it should be on stickers where you wanna scroll down until it says camera effects and then quick so now and then what i did in my velvet montage i added a ko green screen so let me add that now add track 2 add clip and then you pick your green screen i found it so now obviously i don't need to make that sound when i'm doing that uh the actual effect so i want to press square clip volume and make it all the way to zero add a filter to make it look way more better and saturate filter even more then you want to press triangle go to press x go to green screen and then reduce the tolerance, I mean up the tolerance a bit, kind of low, like 25, or I'll just put 75. And then now guys, this is the effect, I'll let you watch this now. Alright guys, that's it for the video. If you did enjoy, leave a like on the video, comment down below your thoughts on this effect and if this worked out for you and subscribe to the channel for more Chef Factory tutorials, the Ghost Crucial playlist and probably Fortnite challenges, you know. And I'll see you guys in my next one. Peace out.